Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while. I hope you've been well. Hope you had a great Christmas and got plenty of uh, Christmas shit. Nice intro, bro. Well, f you. I won't do an intro then. Aww. No, too late. F you. I'm sorry, please. It's already done. You've lost intro Aww. privileges. Let's get right into it. Welcome to the main event of the evening. In the blue corner, weighing in at about 8,000 lines of code, which is a complete guess because I can't be fucked counting. We have the thing I made. In the red corner, weighing in at 1.9 million subs, we have my audience. Woo! Fight! <laughs> my baby. No, what have you done, you monsters? I trusted you! Just kidding, I don't trust any of you as far as I can throw you, which is not very far because I haven't left my room this year and early stages of muscle atrophy have kicked in. Ah, sorry, this video's all over the place. This is why we do intros, damn it, Henry. That's Henry. We don't like Henry because he's a f**kwit. Sick of your shit, Henry. Anyway, I made a thing and you can use my thing to make things which will do things. Um, yeah, not a bad explanation, but you might want to use, you know, a few more words, maybe? I'm sorry, did you say something, Henry? No, no, it's nothing. It's really fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm just going to be on my way. Just going to back away slowly here. That's what I thought, you little bitch. Anyway, the thing I made is called Creature Creator, and you can use it to, you guessed it, make dicks. You can also use it to make other things, but I honestly doubt that will happen. Creature Creator is a simulated game thing that I started like nine months ago and is by far the biggest project I've ever made. And by project, I mean regret, because those be nine months, I ain't getting back. Anyway, in Creature Creator, you can make whatever your heart desires, and then it uses the power of AI to teach those bad boys to walk. Or in most cases, teaches the AI to break the physics engine and glitch its way to victory. Like, seriously, don't at me if you break this fucking thing because that's really not an impressive achievement. Wait, let me just show you. Start with a rectangle, add a leg here and another one here, click a evolve button and it's fucked. If you guys want to have a go then you can find it on my website codebullet.com. What do you mean it's taken? Stick it, stole it. Oh, well, as long as they're using it for something awesome then I guess it's all right. Oh, it's viruses. Nice. So probably don't go to codebullet.com. Instead, head on down to thebigcv.com, which is way better, even though it's a pretty low bar at this point. Check it out, boys. We got the snake AI running in the background on the main page. Oh, remember when I did that? Woohoo! Let's head over to the projects tab and whoa! Look at those pixels, baby! Hell yeah! Although the YouTube compression algorithm probably makes it look like cancer, so you're gonna have to check it out yourself. Audible wink. Anyway, time to show off. Let's make some creatures. Okay, starting off simple. We're just going to ease into it. Let's make a dude with some legs. This guy will be pretty similar to the guy I made in my last video with one massive upgrade. It's got uh, little feet. That's it. That's the big reveal. It's got feet. Okay, just before I start this, I'll quickly explain the AI for people who aren't super familiar with my videos. So I'm using the NEAT algorithm, which is a neural evolution algorithm. Essentially, this weird flex is me saying that these bad boys are learning through the process of evolution. This is done by testing a bunch of players which start out just doing random shit. Then once they are all dead, choose the players which perform the best to reproduce. This makes the next generation even better than rinse repeat until these guys are walking. All right, let's do it. Generation 1, as expected, they are all dumb little shits. Essentially, they're just flailing randomly. Hmm, okay, this is good. However, I'm going to stop the evolution here. There is one change I want to make to the design of these guys. Just give me a quick second. <laughs> all right. There we go. <laughs> See, isn't that so much better? Okay, so generation two takes all the best of the first generation and lets them make baby. So now this generation should be better. Oh, look at that, success. We got a flopper. It's not, I'm not sure it's a strategy I would go with, but it's the best we got. All right, let's speed these bad boys up. All right, I'm going to turn off the screams now because it goes from funny to annoying very quickly.
By Gen 5, the flop strat has completely taken over. It's become the prominent strategy for the players. So I hope you're a fan because it looks like that's all we're going to get. All right, let's fast forward to generation 13 where they pretty much mastered the flop, easily outpacing the laser. If you wanted the players to stop doing this and move a little faster, then you'd have to increase the laser speed to encourage the players to move. That would have been smart. However, I did not do this. Instead, I chose to hit probably my favorite button in this entire game, the replay species button. In this simulation, players are grouped into species by how similar their brains are. So all players in a species should display similar behavior because their brains are structurally similar. This means instead of just replaying the best species, re Replay species replays all walking attempts, not just the ones which succeeded. Usually I only show the best of each generation, but now we can shine a spotlight on some of the, how should I say, less successful attempts. You'll see, they're brilliant, they're fantastic. Species one, nice. Species two decides to run into the laser. Species three is fucking fabulous. Species four, he's giant. That's, he showed up. Good, good for him. Species five and six are just doing things and hoping for the best. Species seven starts out pretty good with the first step. Then, ah, yep, going with the species one strat. Species nine, okay, okay, sure. You, you gotta try these things. Species 11, <laughs> runway chief. Oh shit, yeah, nice, okay, okay. Species 12, the obligatory fucking with the physics engine. Very nice, very nice, gotta do it. Species 13, <laughs> bruh. Okay, you get it. I'm not going to go through all 30, but it's some good shit. Uh. Don't touch it. Hey, don't, don't you touch it. I'm warning you. Don't you touch the Don't you? Ah, fuck. Hey, yeah, so how do they do with arms? Not well. Is the consensus? They're not doing well. <laughs> but you know, that's what evolution is for. So let's ramp up the murder machine. Oh yeah, we got a, ah, I don't feel right calling it a walk. It's a, a shimmy, yeah, that's a word. We'll, we've successfully achieved a shimmy. All right, so to stop the curse of the shimmy, I raised the laser speed up because while the shimmy is a pretty stable way of moving, it's far from the fastest. Thanks to the speedy laser, all the players can really manage is to just dive to the right, which is something, it's at least they're not shimmying, which is fantastic, but they're gonna need a few generations to figure shit out. All right, after ages of evolving, you'd think the players managed to develop a pretty good walk, but nope, <laughs> they are rolling. That's their plan. Not the prettiest way of doing things, but it sure gets the job done. All right, it's species replay time. What's that? Let's make a horse. <laughs> All right, if you say so. I did not say anything. Oh, too late, he's already here. Horse. See, told you. Horse. Okay, that's enough, settle down. Horse. Fuck, he's never gonna shut up, is he? Horse. I regret this already. Oh no, there's more. Horse. 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 Oh fuck no, turn on the laser, turn on the fucking laser. God damn, burn them all, burn them all. Yes, yes. Stay horse down, motherfuckers. Yes. Oh, that was great. That was therapeutic. Ah, <sighs> okay. Now that I've got that out of my system, let's run through the generations one at a time. All right, let's start with the best of gen one. Uh, yep, that's definitely how you horse. Uh, by gen three, we got an attempt at a gallop, but it was short lived. Gen four was just a classic horse front flip, pretty standard stuff. 
Gen 5 returned to an actual attempt at a gallop, but struggled when it forgot which way was down. There were no improvements until Generation 8, where it really doubled down on the horse flip. By Gen 10, they'd figured out how to do the horse flip, but with added extra of unnecessary leg movement. Nice. And holy shit, Gen 12 is back to an actual run. It's actually looking pretty stable. Haha, <laughs> get it, a horse stroke, stable, nice. Yeah, but anyway, the, the laser's just too quick, it's fucked. Gen 20 isn't traditionally what you'd call horse-like behavior, but you know, it's actually looking kind of graceful. And by Generation 31, we've done it, ladies and gentlemen. It is a historic day. Call the jockeys, call the Melbourne Cup, call all the horse people. Tell them we've done it. They said it couldn't be done, but look at us now. We've done the impossible. We've solved horse. Tell them that the trick is actually three of the four legs of red herrings and not at all necessary. The jockey might need some more protective headwear, but apart from that, this strategy is flawless. We've done it. I don't know what devastation. The horse has been hit by the crippling existential crisis. Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh, and it takes the life of our most prized racehorse. What a tragedy. Oh, God, hurts to see, doesn't it? But it makes you think. Maybe we haven't solved horse. Maybe what we were missing was the care and love to nurture a beautiful horse, which is at peace both on the race course and off it. One which looks forward to the next day and can smile a horse-like smile with its soul. All right, let's make dick people. Ooh, yes, very nice. Good jiggle, good jiggle. Uh, just one more thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, the dick is looking good, however, something pretty obvious is missing. You can't just have a dick, you gotta give it legs. Okay, just one more important detail and then we're done. Nice. Let me just do the official dick person quality assurance test. Yep, everything checks out. Okay, it's ready. All right, hold up. I'm gonna stop the evolution there because there is a small change I wanna make to these guys. Okay, just gonna change up the design here a little. Yeah, that's better. All right, let it rip. I also had the players die if the tip touches the ground because I want these guys to walk around upright, not just sliding around tip first, which while it is an easier way of locomotion, it's not exactly what you'd call super socially acceptable. So yeah, none of that. If they do that, they die, which I'm realizing as I'm saying this, I might not make a stellar parent because yeah, some of my teaching methods could use a little more of, you know, the human touch, a little less instant death, which yeah, it's not ideal. Uh, I'll work on that. I've got a few years. Hmm, okay, yeah. So these guys are trying their best, that's clear, but they are still struggling a bit. And it might be because they're a tad top heavy. And yeah, that's my bad. We did just change that. Uh, but before we change that back, I wanna show you one of the best exploitations of the physics engine I've ever seen. How does that move him forward? How does that work? Ah, uh, you gotta love Box 2D. Works like a fucking charm. All right, so yeah, this is kind of backtracking a bit, but let's make it a little more modest, shall we? I also upped the laser speed a little, so the players really got to move those little legs, otherwise they die. Again, I know parenting, I'm working on it. So I have trained these bad boys for a while, so it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's check out those species. All right, species one. Nope, species two. Nope, species three. Nope, species four. Guess what? Nope, it's species five. That's a no. Species six, nope. Look, you gotta try, no, nope. you gotta try these things. Oh, they suck. Hey, oh, that was a little jump. Oh, they're all just roll. Hey! <laughs> There are a few, like, little surprises in there where they're actually trying. It's because the laser speed's so quick that they all just have to dive to the right in order to survive for any amount of time. 
All right, you get it, they're dicks. <laughs> All right, now that I've lowered the number of female viewers on this video to zero, I wanna try something. Last thing, I promise, let it rock. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! They're beautiful! They're so perfect! <laughs> They're walking better than the ones with legs! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Alright, so that's pretty much all for this video. If you want to have a go yourself, link is in the description. It would really help me out if you go check it out. I also have a sneaky secret video explaining the specifics on how to use the thing, which you can only reach by clicking the how the fuck do I use this button on the website. Yeah, so basically check it out if you want. If you don't want to, fine, that's cool. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, I'm just done with this project. I want to move on. If you make something that you really enjoy, that you really think I'll enjoy, send it to me on Twitter or Discord. Links to all my social media is in the description. Yeah, if it's good enough, it might make its way into a future video. I make no promises though. Don't do that with the expectation that that's gonna happen. It could happen. Yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm rambling. If you enjoyed the video, thank you. you. You can like it if you want. I really don't care. I don't think that does shit. Uh, but yeah, so I'll try to do more videos, more than just one every like four months, which is what I've kindly been doing. Um, this video, this project was fucking massive. So there's that excuse. Just gonna put that out there. But yeah, I'll be trying to focus on much smaller videos because yeah, fuck that. Uh, and yeah, have a good day. I think that's all. I think that's all for me. Bye. Thanks for watching.